All right now. Okay, so it's time for some Brian Fisher. Mm. And uh, let's visit his little Brian Fisher bubble of ignorance and homophobia. Yes, Brian Fisher. I love this guy, man. <laughs> he comes up with the most funniest shit ever. I mean, this is fucking comedy. I know some gay people have a problem with him. I understand, you know. But he's a fucking clown. You can't get, you cannot get mad at a clown. I mean, a clown makes you laugh, right? <laughs> All right, this is what he says. Let me play that clip here. Talking about the NFL. All right, let me play it here. Hold on, hold on a second. They know you get sexual tension in a locker room. It affects unit cohesion. That's an important part of success. You are a team. You need to function as a team. You guys have to be pulling together. You can't avoid divisive things coming into the locker room. And they know the, the kind of the kind of grenade-like explosion that will go off. Oh, no! <laughs> grenade-like explosion! Yet this guy has never been <laughs> in a pro football team. And now he's t he's never been in the military. He's never been in a pro football team. And now he's like making a reference to the military when people were talking about the don't ask, don't tell thing. Oh, it's going to ruin unit cohesion. It's going to... Oh, it's going to break up the military. And look, it's already been, you know, what, uh, almost over a year now. Like 18 months since we repealed don't ask, don't tell. And nothing's happened. These were the same people that were saying, oh, the military is going to go up in flames. Uh, we're going to get invaded by the Nazis or something like that. Fucking douchebags. Let me go ahead and play that again. Hold on. Part of success, you are a team. You need to function as a team. Guys have to be pulling together. You can't avoid divisive things coming into the locker room. And they know the, the kind of, the kind of grenade-like explosion that will go off. Oh! They've got to be concerned about unit cohesion. Uh, they've got to be concerned about readiness. Or these oh, guys Brian. To take the field. And they have to be concerned about retention. I mean, <laughs> if an NFL team says, yeah, we're, we're going to be completely okay with open gays in the locker room. No! We want to recruit them. We'd love to find every gay football player in the United States of America <laughs> off the best contract we can. They know that other players are going to stay away from that team in droves. They won't be able to complete a roster. So they know that there are some very practical issues that, uh, that they're going to have to deal yeah, with. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so obviously, uh, this guy's talking through his dumbass mouth and without knowing the facts. There are no gay players in the NFL. That's what I think, to be honest with you. But I like the expression that he said, you know, it's a grenade-like explosion. Imagine. If one of these, like, NFL players comes out. Just like as a April Fool's joke. Oh, that would be a really good April Fool's joke. <laughs> that gives me an idea. I'm going to supposedly, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to tell you what my April Fool's joke will be, but it's going to involve an interview with certain... With a certain uh, football player, and he's gonna come out. Of, you know, he's gonna come out out of the closet. Uh, but uh, imagine if there was like somebody that actually came out in the locker room, of all places to come out, right? The fucking NFL locker room. And reporters go in there all the time, right? They try to interview these naked players. <laughs> Brian Fisher doesn't know that uh, when you undress anywhere in the gym. There, there are a lot of employers who have gyms, locker rooms. Like if you're a cop, right, you undress. If you're a fireman, gay fireman, there's a, a lot of those. Yet they undress in front of each other. They live with each other almost. Gay firemen. There's been no problem with that. Policemen. People at the gym, you know. You have to expect people will look at you. Even straight guys will look at you. Because they're curious to see how big you are, right? It's just nature. 
but I don't know this whole thing about the explosive grenade what the fuck is that about <laughs> can imagine a player in the locker room oh uh, guys hey guys guys all right settle down I need to talk to you all right um I'm a homo I love to suck cock <gasps> no Oh. Oh. Breaking NBC News The locker room At the Arizona Cardinals Stadium Has exploded In a grenade like explosion Due to a NFL player Who has come out of the closet as a homosexual There were no survivors <laughs> Oh my god. I love Brian Fisher. <laughs> what a fucking quack. <laughs> uh, you know, laughter is a good medicine for, you know, for depression and anxiety and all that. And since I tend to suffer from that off and on, you know, I, I just want to I just want to you know, laugh a little bit. Make fun of these little fuck nuts. <laughs> wow.